Hi everyone, today I'm going to read you a nonfiction story about sharks. So this is called The National Geographic Kids Sharks and it's by Anne Schreiber. Chomp. What is quick? What is quiet? What has five rows of teeth? What glides through the water? Chomp. It's a shark. Sharks live in all of Earth's oceans. They have been here for a long time. Sharks were here before dinosaurs. Here's a picture of an oceanic white tip shark. A shark is a fish, but a shark is not like other fish. Sharks do not have bones. They have soft cartilage instead. Cartilage helps sharks twist and turn. Cartilage helps sharks move and bend. Here you can see, it says, if a shark loses a tooth, a new one moves forward to take its place. Shark tail fins right here are larger on top. This helps them move through the water better. Here is a hammerhead shark. And then it says the shark's skin, if we were to feel it, it says it feels bumpy and rough. It's hard like sandpaper. It protects sharks and helps them to swim faster. Shark pups. Shark babies are called pups. Some pups grow inside their mothers. Other pups hatch from eggs. A lemon shark pup grows inside their mother. The lemon shark mother goes to shallow water to give birth. The pups stay near the shallow water until they are grown. These fish are called remoras. They hang out around sharks and they eat their leftovers. Here is a lemon shark. And then here is the lemon shark pup. You can see the remoras here eating their leftovers. Okay, I have a little question for you. What do you call a shark baby from the Arctic? A popsicle, like a popsicle, but a popsicle. Swell shark pups hatch from eggs. The mother shark lays the eggs in hard cases. People call the case a mermaid's purse. Here's what the mermaid's purse looks like. Swell shark mothers lay up to five cases at a time. In nine months, the swell shark pups are born. Pups grow up. When shark pups grow up, they are awesome predators. They have many ways to sense their prey. Did you know a shark can smell blood from miles away? It can smell one drop of blood in 25 million drops of ocean. Wow. Really smell, a great sense of smell. Sharks can see better than humans can, even in deep, dark water. A shark can see its prey. Sharks take a bite and they test a bite of prey before eating it. Their taste buds tell them if the prey is fat enough to eat. Wow, here's the great white shark. So they kind of take a little bite, see if it's good or not, and then decide to eat the rest or not. <laughs> okay, I have another question for you. What is a great white favorite candy? A jawbreaker. <laughs> what big teeth they have. Ooh, here's the sand tiger shark. Sharks have many rows of teeth. They are always losing some teeth. They are always growing new teeth. A shark uses up more than 10,000 teeth in its life. Wow. Oh, and different sharks have different teeth. Their teeth are perfect for what they eat. Long, spiky teeth are for catching. Flat teeth are for grinding. See them here? Here's the long, spiky. Here's the flat ones. Serrated teeth are for ripping. Ooh, wow, prehistoric sharks had really big teeth, up to six inches. You can see them here. Good thing these guys are extinct. The megalodon is a prehistoric shark. Scientists made a life-size model of the megalodon's jaw and put in the teeth they have found. 
you can imagine how big the shark must have been. Imagine this. A giant shark is gliding through the water. A swimmer is nearby. The shark gets closer. It is huge. It opens its giant mouth and sucks in a big mouthful of water. The swimmer is fine. Whew. The shark is a whale shark. Whale sharks are the biggest sharks, but they have tiny teeth. They eat an tiny animals called plankton. Whew, that swimmer was safe. And here's a picture of the whale shark. It has tiny teeth. So it eats small things like plankton. Blue ribbon sharks. There are about 375 different types of sharks. A hammerhead shark has a head shaped like a giant hammer. Its wide head is great for hunting and it gets the first place for the weird shark. It's a hammerhead. The smallest is the spined pygmy shark. The spined pygmy shark is about eight inches long. It has a glow-in-the-dark belly. It gets the first place for smallest. First place for the creepiest great white shark. The great white shark is the creepiest. When a great white bites its prey, its eyes roll back into its head. And this protects its eyes. It gets the first place for the fastest is the mako shark. The mako is the fastest shark. It can swim up to 20 miles per hour. Makos lead clear out of the water to catch their prey. All right, ready? I have another question for you. How did the hammerhead do on the test? He nailed it. Now you see them. Ooh, look at that lantern shark. Some sharks glow in the dark. Do you see something shiny in the water? Watch out! The tiny lantern shark is covered with a glow in the dark slime. Ooh. The lantern shark is a deep sea shark. Many sea animals glow. Scientists think glowing might help the predators to attract the prey. Hmm, that's a really cool shark. Now you don't. Hmm, most sharks are hard to see. They have a dark back. From above, they blend in with the water. They have a white belly. From below, they blend in with the sky. Hmm, can you see the shark in this photo? That's the Wabagong shark. Some sharks have special ways to hide. Wabagongs have colors like the sea floor. Yeah, he's like camouflage. Their mouths have parts that look like seaweed. Fish swim in, but they can't get out. Aww. Shark attack. One day, Bethany Hamilton went surfing. Suddenly, a tiger shark attacked. It tugged as she held on to her surfboard. It took one big bite out of her surfboard. It also took Bethany's left arm. After the attack, Bethany wanted to keep surfing. She's not afraid to go into the water. She's brave. She knows that shark attacks are really rare. Bethany says, one thing hasn't changed, and that's how I feel when I'm riding a wave. There's Bethany. People attack? Sharks Attack, shark attacks are scary and terrible. Sharks can be a danger to people, but people are a bigger danger to sharks. Millions of sharks die in nets set to catch other fish. Others are killed on purpose. Many types of sharks may become extinct. Sharks have been on earth for millions of years. Sharks and people need to learn to share the sea. Here's the gray reef shark. All right, and that's the end of our story. Now, this is a nonfiction book. It has photographs and it teaches us information. Have a great day.